Do you say things like, I weigh 60 kilogram, I weigh 70 kilogram, or I weigh 35 kilograms? Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's incorrect. In this video, we are going to fix one of the most common mistakes students made in physics, the difference between mass and weight. And I promise by the end of this video, you will never say it wrong again. Mass, weight vs mass. Stop saying it wrong. Right, so what's the real confusion right here? Many students use the word mass and weight interchangeably, right? But they are not the same. Saying I weigh 50 kilograms is technically incorrect. So in this video, let us fix that once and for all. Now, let us start with mass first, the basics. Mass is being defined as the amount of matter, the amount of atoms, the amount of particles contained in an object. And mass is being measured in kilograms or in grams. Now, mass is a scalar quantity, meaning to say that it has only magnitude without the direction. And it doesn't change, not even in space. No matter where you are, whether you are on the surface of the Earth, whether you go to the surface of Jupiter, whether you are on the surface of the Moon or Mars, your mass will always stay the same. Right. Now, look at me. That's me, 70 kilogram. I'm on the surface of the Earth. And even if you transfer me to the surface of the Mars, my mass is still the same, 70 kilogram. There's nothing has changed. And even you move me to the surface of the Moon, my mass is still the same. So the key things to remember is that your mass stays the same. Right, no matter where you are, whether you are on the Earth, whether you are on the Mars, or whether you are on the surface of the Moon. Right, now, weight is totally different story. Weight is the force. What force is that called? Weight is being defined as the force of gravity due to the gravity of the planet or due to the gravity of the Moon you have your weight and weight is the gravitational force acting on you so it is being measured in newtons right and it is a vector quantity because it has both magnitude as well as direction the direction of your weight is always directed towards the center of the planet center of the earth center of the moon center of the mars and the value the magnitude of the weight actually depends on the gravitation of field strength what is gravitation of field strength gravitation of field strength is the gravitation of force acting on an object Right, see, to see how strong the force is acting on an object. So different planets has different gravitation of field strength. Now, the golden formula that you are supposed to remember is that there is a relationship between weight and mass. Weight or W, the symbol is W, is equal to mass, the symbol is small e to m, times the gravitation of field strength, which is G. Right, and weight must be measured in Newton. Mass must be in kilogram and gravitational field strength must be in meter per second square or newton per kilogram. Example, on the Earth, the gravitational field strength is approximately equal to 9.8 newton per kilogram. Example, let's say a 50 kilogram person weighs you want to find a weight, you just write down W is equal to mg. So the mass is 50 kilogram times 9.8, you get roughly about 490 newton. That's the value of the weight. Now, here's something really, really fun. Take the same person to the moon, where the gravity or the gravitation of field strength of the moon is about 1.6 newton per kilogram. So your mass will stay the same. But your weight, look at your weight. Your weight will drop almost immediately. 
So if you want your to lose weight, just go to the moon, right? This is me. I'm 70 kilogram, right? You want to see my weight on moon? W, just write down. W is equal to mg. M is my weight. Uh, M is my mass, which is 70 kilogram. And the gravitational field strength of the moon is about 1.6. Now, take out the calculator. 70 times 1.6. So my weight is about 112 Newton on the moon, right? Due to the gravitational field strength, which is smaller, due to the size of the moon that is smaller, the gravitational field strength of the moon is smaller. That is why your weight is less, but your mass will always stay the same. So, okay, you might want to ask, why do people still say that I weigh 50 kilogram? I weigh 70 kilogram. Well, you have just gotten used to it yeah, in your everyday life. But in physics exam, that costs you a lot of marks, right? Now, the real life and exam tips here, always write the units. Mass must be in kilogram because your weight must be measured in Newton. And don't say I weigh 50 kilogram. Say my mass is 50 kilogram. Yeah, in exams, watch for calculate the weight. When you see the word calculate the weight, always use W equals to mg. And remember, mass is constant, weight changes with location. Right, here's my rule. Mass is equal to meter, right, which is measured in kilogram. Your weight is equal to force, which is measured in Newton. Now, a quick recap right here. Mass is how much stuff you are made of. It never change, right? Weight is the force, gravitational force pulling on the mass. So mass is measured in kilograms. Weight must be measured in Newton. Use W equals to mg in every calculation. So if you like this video, give it a thumb up and hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss the rest of the series. So comment below what is your mass and what is your weight on moon. Let's test your skill. Thank you very much for watching.